This will be a what if video about the mod system in Destiny 2, and we're starting right now. Hey guys, Malu here, and this is video number 5 in my what if series where I talk about different hypothetical situations. If you haven't watched the other videos yet, there will be a link down in the description below to the playlist. And remember, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for raid guides and other what if videos. The what if question for today's episode will be, what if there were universal mods? Now, before we get into the video, go ahead and leave a comment down below telling me what mods you use on your gear right now. Alright, as normal, I'm going to start off with a little backstory so people have kind of an idea of what the system is right now. Right now, there are a lot of mods. However, they're very similar. Actually, they are identical mods to each other. So right now, there are a total of 46 different mods that you can have inside the game of one rarity. There are two. There's rare and legendary mods. Legendary mods give you a plus five power stat, I guess, for whatever piece of gear that's on. That's the only difference. So right now with the 46 rare mods, let's say, you add the legendary mods and you have 92. That's way more than the inventory space that you have. So you're either putting the extra mods inside your vault or you're breaking them down. More than likely, you're breaking them down. At least I am. So, that's one problem with the system. Now, with all the mods that are inside the game, it's not like you can put one mod on any of the pieces. So these mods are broken up into different areas that they can be placed. And it doesn't even cover all the pieces. So, the builds that you can make are very, very limited. The mods are so specific that it's not useful. Right now, you can make a build but it won't really impact your gameplay too terribly much. At this point right now, the mods are so restricted that you can't really do much with them. So like I said before, you only use the legendary ones for the extra power. So they are not living up anywhere near what they could with their potential. Now what I'm proposing is the universal mod system. This would take down the amount of mods that are in the game from around 46 rare mods down to about 25, give or take one or two. Basically meaning that you could fill up your inventory with only mods without overflowing. Or you could just, you know, put some in your vault and not like break the vault with them. So how this would work, you could have say a kinetic counterbalance mod go on each piece of gear so that recoil is perfectly vertical. That would be amazing because then your shots would be exactly where you want them every single time. Now let's talk about builds because actually with this system you can make builds out of the mods. So specific builds, how would they look? Well you could have a ability, stat, or gun build with your mods or a combination of them all. So you could have your ability build which would help the player power fantasy. Or you could have the stat mods, which would help the player feel like they're actually stronger. Or you could have the gun build. This would help the gunplay focused players feel like their guns are actually hitting targets and getting better target acquisition. These changes would make a big enough impact with how everything in the game goes. More importantly, PvP. Because then you would have so much more diversity in there than anything else. Like, dear god, you wouldn't need just one broken gun to make the entire experience different. I'm looking at you, Prometheus Lens. Now, to regulate all the power bonuses that you're going to get from this, Bungie could just make it a stacked system. So, say you can only have two kinetic counterbalance mods, so you can't make the recoil perfectly vertical. Or, you could only have, say, three grenade mods, like it says on the mods right now. Or you could have five reload mods, so it's instant reloads, pretty much. It could be anything, and that means that they could add more without breaking the inventory space. With the way that this is kind of laid out, you could make the mod system a bigger part of the game than just, hey, here's five, you know, power level points, 
have added. With players being able to make their own builds, it would improve the diversity of the game overall and give, hopefully, PvP a better look. Also, Bungie, if you want to make the, you know, subclass blocks mix and match, that would be fantastic too, but I'll get into that in another What If video at some point. Alright, now make sure you hit that subscribe button for more videos similar to this in the future, as well as any raid guides that I will start doing soon. Trust me, soon. I'm getting to it. Remember, if you have a what if idea, please leave a comment with a brief description, and I may use your idea inside one of my next videos. So a what if idea, what could it be? It could be anything from making a whole new quest, like say the Cryptarchs have a quest for you so you can stop getting those damn blues in your inventory and it automatically breaks them down. All the way to how say a gun could get nerfed if it's overpowered or how a super could get buffed to how a super could get nerfed. Anything is on the table with this, so just bring out your ideas and let's see what they are. Also, if you think this idea could be a good addition to the game, then please share this with a friend. The more people who know, the better chance we could get this in the eyes of Bungie. So I just want to thank you guys so much for watching, and until the next one, you do you, peace out.